Here at 11 o'clock tonight's football game at Doss High School turned into what was found at school this morning, a weapon on a student. Hello everybody and thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. It comes just weeks before JCPS will be installing weapon detection systems in high schools. WHS 11 night teams Taylor Woods reports from Doss tonight talking with a parent about this incident. And yo, Doss. It was supposed to be homecoming at Doss High School. The football game played on, but some homecoming festivities were postponed. It comes after the school says a weapon was found on a student as classes started at the high school. Tanya Morris panicked after finding out, texting her two children to see if they were safe. Kids is bringing guns, knives, all that. It really scares me because I leave, my children leave me. And I know they good when they leave, but I worry about them coming home with all the violence that's going on in JCPS. In the email, the principal says the weapon was found before the student went to class and it was never used in a threatening manner. Off-camera DOS High School students told me the discovery derailed their homecoming. There was increased security during the day and at the football game. They was very proactive and I like that. Like I like how fast they moved to get it done before it got out of control. This incident comes weeks before JCPS installs weapon detection in schools. During Tuesday's JCPS school board meeting, staff discussed the first phase of weapon detection being installed in high schools. First batch of high schools, essentially the first half of schools, um, beginning in later October and then again going through winter break. This gives Morris a little relief. She hopes this puts an end to students bringing weapons to school. It's all I want. They can install as much as they want, but the thing is we got to make sure that it works. And us as parents need to come together and check on our children because it starts at home. She says parents need to take charge and know what their students are bringing to school. So if you know what your kids is doing at all times, then it'll cut down the problem a lot. No one was hurt, but an entire school saw its homecoming stopped at the last minute. At Doss High School, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119, on your side. The JCPS Police Department is investigating the incident. JCPS also says the student who brought the weapon to school will be disciplined according to the JCPS handbook.